This morning, shortly after 6.30 a.m., uh, we received a business holdup alarm, like a robbery alarm, and one of our officers was uh, seconds away from that location. As the officer uh, makes the scene, he is being pointed across the street to what he feels is a suspect wearing a, a black hoodie. Our officer is in the vehicle following what is a potential suspect for an armed robbery call. Uh, he notices that there is either money falling out of the suspect's pocket or the suspect is throwing money out of his pocket. Uh, a very, very short chase uh, with the suspect uh, running and then our officer driving to a nearby house. Our officer sees that the uh, suspect is now running towards the back of a house. The officer parks his vehicle and he uh, is about to run towards the back of the house when he hears some kind of a banging noise or a loud noise uh, simulating like either the suspect is kicking something or possibly forcing entry into this house. The officer then goes to the front of the yard where he is now confronted by the suspect from the armed robbery. Uh, the suspect withdraws a handgun and uh, shoots at our police officer, uh, strikes him in the leg, and the officer returns fire. We do not know how many shots were exchanged between the two that will come out later in the investigation. He has recently been trained by our department in not just the application of, of this kit, but also how to take care of a serious injury like this. The officer takes out the scissors, he cuts his own uniform pants, applies a tourniquet on, and then applies direct compression to uh, control and basically stop this bleeding. Uh, we are in hopes and anticipation that uh, he could possibly be released later today, and his condition is, he is in good condition. Uh, officer has uh, approximately eight years on the department, uh, married with a uh, family. He is a military veteran. He served five and a half years in Army Infantry. And uh, his mindset and the ability on how calm he remained within a firefight and then immediately to address his injury to uh, stabilize himself, uh, I really attribute that for the military training as well as his mindset and the training he receives from our department. We're very, very lucky today.